Wednesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar and what's going on outside currently around the around the area. And this is a, a big regional look, actually. So you can see as we pan out a little bit, there's a line of showers moving through uh, the Ohio Valley area. We've got some snow back off to the west moving through uh, the midsection of the country. And here where we are, we're high and dry uh, in terms of any moisture. We've got a double barrel high pressure in place. It's keeping us nice and dry. Things will change over the next 24 hours as we head into Christmas Eve, uh, as we've got the chance for uh, some thunderstorms to move through the area during the day tomorrow. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and turn off all this real quick, and we will show you what the Storms Prediction Center is saying in terms of uh, what our chances are for severe weather around the county. Uh, during the day on Christmas Eve and into the evening hours. And you can see areas shaded in green here, and that's to the uh, eastern side of the county. So you're looking at Salisbury, China Grove, Rockwell, uh, places like Granite Quarry, Faith, Gold Hill, Spencer, East Spencer. Um, all those areas uh, certainly are in, in the uh, potential for seeing a low risk of severe weather tomorrow. The biggest threat I see with it is going to be the fact that we could see some damaging winds come through and we'll talk about that in just a moment. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and bring up the model data right now <clears throat> and this is starting at um, 10 p.m. tomorrow night. This is in three hour increments is how this model is going to run. So you see at 10 p.m. we've got some isolated showers uh, making their way through the mountains and foothills. There are There is a chance we could see a few little isolated spotty showers here close to the county as we go into the uh, late evening hours. But as we head into the overnight is where things start to develop. So this is now 1 a.m. in the morning. You see there's a, a line of showers starting to make its way into the western uh, portions of Rowan County. As we head to 4 a.m., still seeing some isolated shower activity out there. By 7 a.m. Christmas Eve morning, uh, still some spotty showers out there, but you can see the widespread rain starting to make its way into the western North Carolina mountains by this point. This is now going on uh, 10 a.m. on Christmas Eve morning and some more uh, widespread rain starting to move into the area and into the county. By 1 p.m. Christmas Eve, uh, widespread rain will definitely be around the county. And there's this one line that will start to develop that I'll be keeping an eye on during the day tomorrow. And you can see it right in here uh, where this yellow is starting to form. Uh, that's an area I'm going to start to keep an eye on during the day tomorrow because that's the part where we could see some of those damaging winds develop. It looks like uh, there's going to be a line that's going to be very organized. It'll come through, could even form what we refer to as a bow echo, uh, which is where you'll see some uh, very strong straight line damaging winds. So we'll keep an eye on it. And again, this is at uh, 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. As we head to 4 p.m., uh, you can see more widespread rain activity continue to move in. But by this point, cold air start to move into the eastern portions of Tennessee and the western uh, portions of North Carolina. So we're going to start to see some snow mix in in the mountains with this. And this will actually transition over to all snow in the mountains of western North Carolina. It's going to continue to stay rain here in Rowan County, though. And then as we head to 7 p.m., uh, on Christmas Eve evening. Uh, here's that uh, that line that I was uh, talking about that could develop. So right there it is, uh, that whole section circled in yellow right there. Uh, the concern is, is that's going to form into some straight line winds. And as you can see there, there's a lot of uh, jagged lines in this. And what that means is there's potential for uh, the winds to start blowing these storms out. And as it does that, uh, it creates the opportunity for uh, a lot of pressure to be forced out of the atmosphere and create strong straight line winds that can develop. Again, that's why we're in that low risk for severe weather uh, for uh, portions of the county. I think the bigger threat is off toward the coast though, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that. But I think for us, we do need to stay at, at least a little weather aware during the uh, day tomorrow and into the evening hours and do not be surprised if there's any rumbles of thunder out there. So we'll now head to 10 p.m. Christmas Eve evening. You start to see the rain begin to make its way out of the county. Areas in western Rowan County will start to, to clear up and dry out. And then as we head into uh, Christmas morning, this is 1 a.m. Christmas morning, everything's gone and we really start to clear up and dry out. Let's take a look at the weather impacts. 
and some uh, big story with the weather impacts before we get into them. These, of course, have been sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated, the greenhouse. Uh, we've been talking about the poinsettias since uh, early November, and uh, this is the last day you can purchase one. So if you haven't gotten one yet, uh, they are open today until 5 p.m. This is it. Then they're closed for the remainder of the year. Uh, they are, there are a limited supply of poinsettias still out there. So again, go ahead and make your way out there. Purchase a poinsettia if you'd like. Again, they're open until 5 p.m. today, and then they're closed for the remainder of the year. We'll see mostly sunny skies during the day today. Winds will be out of the south-southeast between 5 and 10 miles per hour, and we'll see increasing cloudiness this evening. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on Integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 55. We'll see increasing cloudiness as we head into the evening hours. That's going to be ahead of that front that's going to be bringing the rain in. We'll see a low of 45 degrees on Christmas Eve. 100% chance of thunderstorms, uh, isolated showers, well, not even isolated, widespread showers and thunderstorms, really, as we head through today, high of 62. We'll see a low of 28. And uh, again, the, the thunderstorms could be severe at times, so we'll keep you updated on that throughout the day. And really, as we uh, go over the next 48 hours here, we'll keep you updated on it. Then things change drastically for Christmas Eve. I've been lowering this high temperature uh, with every model run over the last couple of days. And uh, if you remember yesterday at this time when I gave you the forecast update, it was going to be 37 degrees for the high on Christmas Day. I've now dropped that down to 35 degrees uh, for the high on Christmas Day. Could be one of the coldest Christmases we've seen around here in, in, a, in quite some time. We'll drop down to 21 degrees for the low we'll have sunny skies during the day, mostly clear skies during the evening. On Saturday, we'll see sunny skies will warm up just a little bit, high of 42 degrees. And we'll see uh, mostly clear skies Saturday evening with a low of 25. We warm back up to 50 degrees on Sunday with sunny skies. Mostly clear skies Sunday evening with a low of 31. Those 50s don't hang around long, though. Basically, we get uh, some 50s for Sunday and Monday, and then we start heading back the other direction, back into the 40s as we head to the uh, early parts of next week. So we'll keep you updated there. Our friends at Your Roman sponsoring something big for us tomorrow. We're going to be tracking Santa Claus throughout the day on Christmas Eve, as, we, as we've done for the last several years. And uh, it gets more and more exciting every year. And we're certainly excited about this year as well. We'll keep you updated on where Santa is. He makes his way around the world and here toward Rowan County on Christmas Eve and keep you aware so the kiddos know when to head to bed and, uh, you know, when to make your plans on getting them there as well. For now, enjoy uh, the rest of your Wednesday. And remember, if you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Give us some follows and likes there. You can check out our website anytime at rowancountyweather.com. And you can check us out on cable television at WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. And our friends at WSRG TV will also be carrying the Santa tracker during the day tomorrow as well. So certainly tune in for that and get the updates there. We'll keep you updated on the weather uh, along with uh, everything else going on with Santa. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather and enjoy your Wednesday.